Uh, hi guys, this is Rose from a Catholic homeschooling family. I'm sorry, I'm trying to set up my camera because this is an awesome new phone, but it's not as cool as my previous phone that had flash on the on the front end. It has this phone has a flash on the front end, but it does not have um, flash for the video camera, so that sucks. Um, so it is January 3rd and it is about 8.15 p.m. And my baby Isan will be one month tomorrow. That's exciting. But anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about some pregnancy. It, there weren't complications, but some pregnancy illnesses that I had after, you know, postpartum. And, you know, it wasn't in my mind, Mom. I was fine. And then in my mind, but, but wait. And then in my mind, I was gonna die. And then they told me it was, it was that I was fine. So what happened was that Isan was born on a Thursday. Then four days later on Sunday, Sunday evening, I got a horrible, horrible, horrible headache. Horrible. Um, like a migraine. And I kept um, taking medicine and it wouldn't go away. So I had that headache for almost a week. On, well, not on and off, consistently. The headache pain would um, lessen in severity or, you know, then go back up in severity, but it would never go away. It was constant. And um, I thought it was a migraine headache. But then maybe like, I know guys, my nails are horrible. I have to redo them. But anyways, I will, Mia, Mia, he, Mia, Mia Bella. He wants to wash his hands. Can you take him into daddy's bathroom, please? Please. Um, mm, mm. okay, so that started on Sunday, and then sometime around Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, so Isan is now about a week old, I start getting like, like stomach pain, stomach cramps, and I, it felt almost like an ovulation pain, and I was like, what the hell? What is going on? There's no way I'm ovulating. I just had a baby, right? Like a week ago. It would be impossible for me. Well, at least I think it would be impossible for me to ovulate so soon. Um, and so I thought it was just like a one-time thing. And then the couple of days, like within the ne next good job, during the next couple of days, it kept on getting worse. Uh, I would have, well, not worse, but more often, more consistent. I had those ovulation things maybe like the first time it was one, and then later on in that evening, Mia, please take him away because I'm trying to make a video. I never have a chance, but he's yelling. And so the next, it happened again that evening. Then over the next couple of days, it happened like, I would say like three or four times throughout the day. But it only lasted like two, like three days, about three days. Um, so that was, let's say on, no, maybe like four. Mm, I think it stopped like on Friday. So yeah, maybe about three days. So maybe starting like Tuesday night to Friday. Like three and a half days or so. And no, no. Wins. I don't know. Something like that, right? Either way. By Friday night, I I was really getting super stressed out, right? I was like, why does my stomach hurt all the time? Why am I having this big headache that won't go away? Oh, and besides that, starting Sunday night, you know, when my headache first started, I had a fever and I had been having a fever on and off, on and off 
since Sunday, like constantly. Um, and I would take Tylenol and it would go away. But even if I didn't take the Tylenol, the fever would go down by itself. It was just like roller coastering. And, and so it was like the fever and the stomach pains. And well, it was more like uterus pains. And um, the horrible headache that wouldn't go away. So that was like for the first week and a half. On Sunday, you know, so the following Sun, no, it was Saturday. The following Saturday. So it started on Sunday and then Saturday, like seven days later, I tell my husband, you know what? I cannot wait until Monday to see the OB. I have to go to the hospital. I might be dying. Um, because of course I Googled and I found a whole bunch of stuff, right? Like, it could be preeclampsia. Like, postpartum, pre pre postpartum preeclampsia is real. Even if you never had preeclampsia during any during your pregnancy or so pre previous pregnancies, right? Um, so that's important for you, you know, moms that are gonna get pregnant in the future, pregnant now. If you feel really, really sick after delivery and you didn't have preeclampsia, lay on my phone. It doesn't mean that you cannot get it after the fact. So that's important for you guys to be aware of. And, um, then there's another thing called meningitis. I think that's a brain thing that you can get um, postpartum as well. So again, if you feel ill after postpartum, go to the hospital. I did go to the hospital and it turned out, and I was there and everybody, honestly, everybody thought it was something serious because when I got there, my blood pressure was up and I always have low blood pressure. I always have low blood pressure and so for me to have a high blood pressure is very weird and very you know a sign of something right because I've never had it I've never that was actually the first time it was ever high it was like and it wasn't like really high but for me it was really high with my blood pressure normally runs like 90 over 70 80 over 60 something like like low um well at least that's how it was during pregnancy and after and post pregnancy, or when I am not pregnant, it's somewhere around 100, 100, 105, over 80, 85, something like that, right? Anyways, it's still low, but um, not so, so low. Anyways, went to the hospital, and it turns out that I had a bladder infection, which was why my stomach, which was weird i had bladder infection it was weird because i didn't have no symptoms i had no symptoms of a bladder infection but i had a bladder infection um uh, i didn't have freaking urination i didn't have burning i didn't have um i don't know the inability to go i, I what are you doing that's a glass cup No, wait. Correle, cuete conmigo. And, oh my god, my phone, guys. I'm so sorry. This is so horrible. I need to find a better way. <gasps> Your pamper fell. Mia! Take easy, please. I'll be right there. I'm almost done. His pamper fell. Well, it didn't fall, but it's falling. It's falling. What is it? Hey, don't take off your pamper. Yeah, fix it for him. I'll be right there in like three minutes I hope to be done so um uh, see guys it's so difficult for me to make videos my husband's not home he's working nights it's it's getting you know it's so cool anyways uh I had a bladder infection and I also had a sinus infection and so the sinus infection was causing the the, the headaches and the combination of both of those things was was giving me the fever so they gave me antibiotics. So they gave me antibiotics for like five days. They gave me intravenous antibiotics and then they gave me pills to take home antibiotics. And so they gave me that for a week. I started to feel better. And then I had horrible, like in the middle of the night, like after that was done, a couple of days later, in the middle of the night, 
I woke up with severe, severe, severe stomach pains. But it wasn't like in my stomach. It was like up here in my ribs. Uh, and the pain was like shooting to back to my spine. So like this whole part right here was like cramping. You know, you know when you do like crunches and then these stomach muscles right here hurt and you really can't move or do anything? That's kind of how I, how it felt. It was so, so bad. Like I wanted to be hunched over like in a little ball. Um, it happened in the middle of the night. I, I woke up my husband. That, um, that was like around one in the morning or two in the morning. Uh, I woke up my husband and said, babe, I'm in so much pain. Don't go to work tomorrow. He's like, I have to go to work tomorrow. I said, no, don't go, don't go. He's like, okay, fine. If you don't really want me to go, I won't go. But do you really need me to stay? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Because it was like holiday. Like it was like a Christmas week. And it was like a Christmas. It was like Christmas week. And so in order for him, for him to get paid overtime or holiday pay or something like that, he cannot miss any days of that week. He has to work his 40 hours in order for him to get like the bonus pay. It's a whole thing. It's very complicated. I don't really understand. But he's like, do you really, really want me to miss? And I was like, I don't want you to miss, but I don't know if I can make it through the day by myself with these kids. And so he, uh, he was like, okay, let me see what I can find. So he went in through the medicine cabinet and he dug up a whole bunch of medicines. And he's like, you know, based on what you're saying, it sounds like gas. I was like, you're ridiculous. It's not gas. He's like, well, just take this medicine. So he gave me gas sex. And it didn't make the pain go away, but it like made it less intense. And then we, were, I was able to fall asleep. And so in the morning when he woke up, he was like, do you want me to go to work? Like when it was almost time for him to leave or when it was time for him to wake up and get ready to go to work. And I was like, well, I guess I'm okay. And he's like, I'm gonna go buy you Pepto because we didn't have any Pepto-Bismol. I'm gonna go buy Pepto-Bismol and I'll bring it to you right now. And that should, that plus the gas six, those two things should probably help you feel, my husband's going to be brain feel better. And so, um, the pain lasted quite a, like, the, severe, the severity lasted the whole day. But by the next day, I still had it, but it had started to die down. So, yeah. I've been feeling, so yeah, it was, it was very painful the first day, but after the second day, by the third day, I felt better. After the second day, it, it lessened. I mean, after the first day, it lessened, and by the third day, I felt better. But I have been having all these weird stuff, illnesses, um, since the baby was born. And he is now turning one month, and I've been feeling better. He's also been sleeping through the night, so I'm very excited. And so that is that. Uh, I do want to wish you guys. Oh, goodness, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. So I do want to wish you guys a very happy new year. God bless you all. Bye bye.